everyone, and today we're taking a look at the demo for Tales from the Dancing Moon. Now, Tales from the Dancing Moon is well, it's an RPG survival game. Uh, so you'll do your crafting, your building. Uh, it turns out that you find yourself in a strange world and an innkeeper finds you. And what you do in the game is you help rebuilding a town. But you're also going to try to find a way how to get out of this strange land. Uh, so let's hop in, let's take a look. Um, you can find the demo on Steam, so I'll have a link down below. Um, yeah, new game. I haven't even tried this, so I don't know what to expect. All right, uh, we're gonna be really tall. We're really short, we're gonna be there. Uh, skin tone, upper color, my shirt. Uh, we'll do black red pants yeah um blue red it's not the same red and we'll stick with the black that's super super sexy all right next is you all right face oh wow there's a lot of customizations all right, i wasn't not expecting this So your eyes, your nose, your mouth, ears, all right. Your hair. No. That's good enough. We're gonna be... Wow. Um... We'll do brown. All right, you done. We need a name. Well, as always, we're Mikey. Confirm. Are you sure you want to be Mikey? Yeah, I think it's fine. All right. Jay opens a journal. Okay, no tasks. Uh, quest, I gotta introduce myself. So I talk to the innkeeper. All right. Uh, okay, so we got inventory. Food, rest, drink. Q's not rotating, nor is R. Oh, maybe I'm on free camera, that's why. No, I have no idea. Uh, how do I get a build mode? How do I get out of build mode, though? Oh, Ian's inventory. Interesting. Oh, escape. No rotating the camera, it looks like. Alright, let's see what's up here first. It doesn't belong to me. Doesn't matter. If it's interactable, it looks like it might highlight. I mean, not. Mm -hmm. 
no looting people's stuff, I guess. I can sit. Ah, well, let's head down then. We gotta talk to the innkeeper. We open doors. No. All right. Oh, now at least that door I can't open. A lot of open place. You think you want more tables in this, don't you? Yeah, I'm sparse, dude. Wow, you can really run. All right, so you got stamina. Okay. Fergus. Ah, you're awake. What happened to me? Where am I? Oh, slow down there. It's all okay. You're in the sleepy side or sleepy seaside town of Illusor. Well, used to be sleepy. Things got a bit hectic with the recent Shadow Beast invasion. Many of the citizens here either escaped or are trying to build up again. I found you whilst I was on errand to Wormtail Island, just off the coast towards the southwest. I have no idea how or why you were there. I was hoping you would tell me. I don't know why I'm here. Well, this is the dilemma, isn't it? Truth be told, you didn't look very healthy when I found you. I'm sure the weather didn't help much either. You were shivering from the rain. Perhaps you have amnesia. Do you remember anything at all? No. I'll tell you what. The inn hasn't seen much excitement. Uh, things were being a bit dull even before the Shadow Beast attack. I thought you stay for a while and see if your memory returns in a day or two. I'll even let you use a room I put... I uh, put you in last night. In the meantime, why don't you introduce yourself around the village? I'm sure you will make yourself useful, given how things are at the moment. I'll give you a list of people to meet. Oh, yeah, look around and introduce myself. Oh, and before you go, I found this item near your body when I found you. I thought it was a large rock sticking out of the hip, uh, out of your hip for a moment. It gave me such a fright. I have no idea what it is, but it looked like it belonged to you. I kept it for your, for your safekeeping. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a smartphone. Fergus found this on you, and he saved you from worms, uh, from wormed, worms at Tail Island. He gave you back after you woke up at the Dancing Moon Inn. There's no signal, but there's some battery left. Maybe useful taking photographs of your time here. All right. So there's a photo mode, I guess. Fergus had asked you to introduce yourself to citizens who have decided to remain in Illusor and take recent attacks. Okay. So well, that's Fergie. Nicholas. Try not to stay too long. I have work to do. Fergus asked me to introduce myself. I'm Mikey. Ah, Fergus mentioned a stranger in our midst. I'm Nicholas, the chef here at Dancing Moon. Can always do with help uh, with a helping hand around here in the kitchen. All of my staff fled after the attack, so if you might, uh, so if you want, I might have some things for you to do after you finish what Fergus said. Uh, great. I used to be good in the kitchen, from what I remember. Come chat with me after you're done with Fergus, and we'll see what we can do. Perfect. All right, so you can click to move and just hold it. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's open up our journal and see who we're supposed to talk to. Talk to citizens, huh? Let's let ourselves in everybody's house, I guess. in what is this I haven't seen you around here before you remind me of the kids that came through here a few weeks ago Fergus asked me to introduce myself to everyone I'm Mikey you look uh, you look pretty rough when we saw Fergus hauling you upstairs to the inn how are you feeling today a bit tired excited to meet everybody I'm um, having a time hard time remember anything is it uh, hard time remembering anything there's not a lot to say, uh, to be honest. Illusor used to be a thriving town, and it could have, I could, and I could have told you a lot of things. But things just haven't been the same since. Lyra's voice trembles as she hesitates. 
Shadow Beast attack. Ferguson told me about that. Yes, yeah, sorry. Still horrible to think about. My brother Dion was one of the first to see them coming. I've been pretty anxious ever since, but I need to keep my eye on him. Are you feeling... How many people managed to flee? How many people flee? Hundreds. Illusor really is an empty shell since that day. The Shadow Beasts fell from the sky on that day. I've heard stories of what they were capable of, but I didn't uh, I didn't know they could do that. A group of guardsmen rallied the villagers up and escorted them south to the Worm Worm's Tail Island. I'm going to have a hard time saying that for some reason. Though I think they mentioned they would head east towards... It will, it will land meadows after that. Who knows where they are now? If you ever decide to head out in that direction, keep an eye out, will you? Hoping to find anyone in particular. It was a difficult choice deciding to stay in Illusor. Uh, Marky, I, Marky, I parted ways with so many friends on that day. It would be nice just knowing that some of them are okay. Sorry, I'm a bit tired now. Do you mind if we talk later? Of course, thank you. Lucas. Hey, I'm introducing myself. I'm the handyman. I'm I'm new here myself, to be honest. That makes two strangers. Really? Where are you from? I'm from a small village east of here called Ferris Wood. I used to visit Illusor often before the attack. The market here had a whole range of supplies for trading. Food, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. What are you doing here? Well, last week I visited, I expected to explore the market as usual. I could see that there was something wrong as soon as I arrived. Fergus was frantic, trying his best to keep everyone safe at the inn and putting out any fires. I was eager to help in any way. He offered me a job doing any handiwork to help rebuild this place. It's lucky the town hall is still standing, else I wouldn't have a place to work. So this must be the town hall then. The is most villagers fled, and there are only a few of us left to make a significant progress. Anything I can do to help? He scratches his head and looks at me. There might be something you could help with. Finish up with your errands with Fergus and come talk to me later. I think we'll have something I can do. Awesome! Oh, what's this? Mayor's office. Kalia. She looks visibly nervous as she turns her attention to you. Can I help you? I have to also introduce myself. Well, hello, Mikey. Would you happen to come from the east, would you? Not really sure where I came from, to be honest. How could you know where you're from? I don't know. Oh, you're the person Fergus brought you in last night. I make sense now. Boy, you looked rough. You've arrived here at the most unfortunate time. You're telling me. I feel pretty rough too. Anyway, what do you do here? She lets out a deep sigh. I'm the mayor's secretary, or at least I was the secretary. She's gone missing. I joined. Uh, I only joined a few months ago, and I'm still quite new at the job. Well, when did you last see her? On the day of the attack. I saw her guiding some of the villagers who fled toward the east. I would go out and look for her myself. But Meryl was uh, some strong opinions about that idea. Well, can I help keep an eye out? Thank you so much. I would be so grateful if you found her. Or anything that might give us a clue where she is. There's so much to do. Well, it sounds like you have enough on your plate. I'll see you later. Well, wait. Before you go. I completely swamped with these tasks. I'm starting to think I need some help with it. If if you have some time, come talk to me later, okay? Make it worth your while. I'll keep it in mind. I don't know what I do with these. Anything? Seem like it. Quinn's General Supplies. I guess I don't know what I'm, if I'm supposed to do anything with these or not. No Quinn? Look like it. Uh, let's go upstairs. 
What's this say? Lucas Fine Furnitures. Not accessible. All right. Want to forget any of the building? Oh, it's nighttime. Tomorrow's market storage. Oh. Contribute items to storage to supply the stock for tomorrow's market. Items may be taken... Will be taken at midnight, and you will receive payment instantly. Take a look at the market the following day and see how it flourishes. Be careful. Once you close the window, you won't be able to access your deposited items anymore. That's kind of hard to see me. With only three life, I'm pretty sure no matter what happens to me, I'm looking rough. Okay, so here's the inn. Careful curiosity. Sensitive. I need someone with experience to, to describe a shadow blob to me in great detail. No questions asked. I gotta take a photograph of a shadow blob. Alright. Interesting. How's my quest? Introduce your citizens. You have decided to remain. Alright. Is there anybody else I need to introduce myself to? There's not much in this town. Where there's hundreds of people. I need help finding some people. Uh, Quinn. Quinn runs a general store over town. The room, the room found right in the middle of the building. You visit her at her counter during the store's opening hours. After work, she'll drop a pint or two with Lucas. He spoke with Dion. I don't think so. Dion can be found moping around towards the east. Near the river. Poor guy hasn't been himself since the shadow invasion. And in afternoon he'll be found with his sister like it in the inn. Okay. Can I go to bed? There's some people in here. Have you seen Sky down at the docks? Been looking very moody these days. You know where I can find some other people around here? Dion. I mean, I'm supposed to introduce myself. He blinks a few times, his eyes quiver before you looking at you. Uh, hello? Uh, you okay? You seem distracted. Sorry, it's just, I haven't been myself lately. Have you spoken to Laika? Lika? My sister, she usually does the talking. Are you sure? I could really use some friends here. I'm not sure I can be a person you uh, you are right now. For you right now. Uh, please, I'd rather be alone. Fair enough. So, we gotta wait for... Yeah, let's sleep till morning. Maybe then we can find Quinn. Quinn might be the only... Is that the only one we need to talk to? I think it is. Oh, I got... Is that temporary hit points? Is that what the... They're orange? Maybe. Alright, let's go see if Quinn's at work. I'm assuming that's the final one, right? They said hundreds of people, but it looks like two buildings in this whole town. Hundreds of people live in this tiny town? With two buildings? Oh, Quinn. There's Quinn. I introduced myself. I look at the gender store here. If you need any basic things or farming supplies, you can buy them for me at the shop as long as you visit during opening hours. What are those hours? I'll twitches and slight smiles. Between 9 in the morning and 6 in the evening. Or any time that I'm standing at the counter. If I'm not at the store, then I'm usually upstairs or going for a walk by the river. Quite nice to have a river in town. The river flows from the east to the west and meets the ocean down by the docks. Be sure to head that way 
you want some good fishing spot or good museum. Alright, thanks for your time. Is that it? Is that the last person? Nicholas was the carpenter, right? I think that was it. Find out, we'll go talk to Nicholas. Did the quest change? It doesn't really specify. Fergie, where are you at? Uh, who am I missing? Oh, no, there's more. Meryl. Meryl is one of the only remaining guardsmen in Illusor. He's permanently positioned at the gates towards the east. Alright, to the east. I believe he's a final person. Oh, start over here on a check bit. Yeah, there's a checklist. Is this east? I may introduce myself. Ah, greetings, Mikey. I'm Meryl. I saw you when Fergus brought you uh, through the city gates. I'm glad to see you on your feet. Or what do you do? I'm one of the few guardsmen left in Il uh, Illusor. I was keeping an eye out for Fergus as I knew he had left town on an errand. He said he found you on Worm's Tail Island. How can I get there to Worm's Tail Island? You have to go through the southern gate turn back and follow the path and head south across the river there. Once outside, you can keep uh, you keep following the trail and you'll arrive to a bridge that crosses the sea to the island. I really wouldn't go there unless you're well equipped, equipped though. Lots of shadow beasts appearing in the area. Huh. Well, where else can I go? Those are situated on the western coast, so most people tend to explore east past the gate here. Just outside the... You will land meadows. It's generally safe to explore, so you might run into an odd shadow blob here or there. Best stay clear of those unless you have means to defend yourself. Come speak to me later about your exploring. Thank you. We get a weapon. Oh, can I get up here? Anything up here? Wow, got dark already. Night, day and night goes by really quick. Oh, can I go in here? No. Need like a torch. This is kind of a relaxing game so far. Nothing too exciting. But then it could just be a slower start till all hell breaks loose. Fergie, where are you at? There you are. Bad as asleep. I introduced myself to everyone. Perfect. Already had a few people coming in to me talking about the new face in town. Why don't you take a rest and come back to me later? I might find some jobs for you if you're up to it. Sounds good. Okay, after uh look up a stranger in a strange room at the Dancing Moon Inn, you've made your way downstairs. There uh, where you introduce yourself to the innkeeper. Da -da -da -da. All right, talk to him again in the future. All right. It's night time anyway. Yes. It's still going to be raining? Oh, okay, no, good. You mentioned you might have some jobs for me. I have many ideas on how to get this town back up and running, Mikey, but there's still a lot of preparation we need to do. The Shadow Beast left the town in ruin, and debris has been littered all over town. If we tidy things up a bit and give them some space to rebuild, do you think you can give us a hand? This will already be a good step towards bringing people back. I saw the debris already, while well, so I've myself to everyone, how can I deal with the fires? We'll still have a few tools that might give us a good start. Take this and use it on fires. It'll put them out. After just uh, after that, just interact with the debris and clear them up. Well, feel free to keep anything you might find. Perfect. Thank you. 
I'm going to receive a watering can, it looks like. Okay, cleaning up town. Inventory. Oh, simple bed gives me a buff. Rest buff, okay. Which I guess is two temporary hit points. Uh, nothing for crafting, it looks like, yet. Alright. Let's go uh, clean up the town. Uh, one. There's my lovely watering can. That's a right click. Got some wood, some stone, and some coal. Market. Let's not put anything in there yet, because I don't know what I need. Don't look like anything completely special. Can I zoom in? No. This scroll looks like it's. moves. Your hot bar. All these shrooms. Can I get some shrooms? That looks like a shroom to me. Maybe it's just rocks. Well, I'm not finding anything special. Laws, so I don't keep clicking on the ground and watering everything. Well, if I could plant a farm with we're planting farms, it looks like this is a big area you can plant something. Or it's all for building. Kind of like the idea of how you're going to just rebuild this town. Okay, I got one more after this I gotta find. Oh, there's more than one. You want me to clear part of them, I guess. Can I do more? If I can get the supplies, then. So it's kind of nice to have that lighting. Alright. Seems weird that there's only little tiny pieces that's burning around. I mean, is that supposed to be the remnants of other buildings? So oh, some of these wouldn't look like they'd be in the right spot for that. Like for you, Meryl. Maybe this is the last one? I just want to go over the bridge here for a second. Oh no, there's more. I mean, I assume we're all walled in, right? Brent! This is a good sized place. If you're going to build in here, I don't know how many buildings you can get. This is a good sized place. Right. You're going to look at the grounds.
big this area is. Alright, so let me get back over. Wait, there's a fire right here. Alright, let's go talk to Perky. Hey, your stam go. Your stam goes even as you're running into a wall, it looks like. I've cleared up the rubble. Amazing, thank you so much. Here, I prepared a small gift for you in exchange. Feel free to keep the watering can and any stuff you find out there. Thanks. $500. 500 gold, whatever. What do you have for sale? Ale. Mm. You said you might have some work for me. Hey, Nick. Aren't you I might be able to help out? I did. Let me tell you what I'm thinking, Mikey. I know I'm just a chef, but I've been thinking about my own ways of bringing people back into town. I think we need to come up with a new menu from the Dancing Moon. Your idea is to entice people with food? What better way to excite people with a mug of ale and a red-bellied fish pie and a warm fire? Now you're making me hungry. Exactly. Problem is that I can hardly leave the kitchen with my current responsibilities. What? There's like five people in town. So it's becoming increasingly difficult getting supplies when my usual traders aren't visiting anymore. Yeah, there's nobody here. Well, let me guess. You'd like me to gather some things for you. You catch on quick. Don't worry, though. I have some things in mind which will make it worthwhile. All right, let's first ask. Before the Shadow Beast invasion, I was working on a new fish-based recipe. It was a new and improved red-bellied pie. My current stock of fish is dangerously low and continue pursuing the dish. Uh, dangerously low to continue pursuing this dish. If you could provide me more fish for me, that would already be a great help. I don't know how to fish. Frank, I had the feeling you might say that. The well, first thing you need to do is, uh, is get a fishing rod. You can purchase one from Quinn at the general store. Here, take this money and buy one for, uh, from her. Even if in dire times, she's a bit greedy get. Come back to me and I'll teach you the basics of fishing. I'll buy the rod. Except, is it 100 gold for a rod, fishing rod? That's, an, that's a fishing rod. Who are you? Hang on. Oh, no, no, don't tell me you guys are done. Is it late? Oh, no, she's still here. Dr. Quinn. I don't have anything for sale. I need a fishing rod. $100 fishing rod. Purchase. What else do you got? Seeds? You have an axe. Chop down trees. Pickaxe. $500 gold for a campfire? Yes. Oh, no. What did I just buy? What did I just buy? Or is that all I bought? That was all about. All right, Nick. See how we fish. Got a fishing rod. Perfect. Now all I need you to fish with some blue bellied uh, fish. They're extremely common in the river. Flows through the village. I think my fish will do. How do I fish? Of course, it's simple. First body water. Uh, river, for example. Press the action button and cast your line. After a few moments, you feel a nibble. This will be indicated by a sound. Your uh, and the rod you're holding will vibrate. As a matter of speaking. When you feel the nibble, just press the action button and you'll get a catch. Simple enough. I'll be back with some fishes. Some night fishing. Oh. 
don't know where it cast. Is that it? That it? got one so Susie I think quick cut quick when you hear the sound all right yeah I just gotta cook it quick I might have to uh link this video though Yeah, one more fish. There we go. Let's go talk to Nick. There's your fish. Perfect, you're a lifesaver. I'm already having a good feeling about the new menu. Have some rest and chat with me later if you would like to help more. Here's some compensation for your efforts. I'm gonna keep the fishing rod, no doubt it'd be useful to you. Thank you. Lost the fish, got $500, gold, whatever. Uh, let's throw this stuff in the market. Just to see what that's like. Is it midnight to pick it up? How do I do it? Oh, just right click. We're gonna give you everything. And we'll check. Uh, we'll check in the morning. We'll go sleep. We'll look. See how that how that works. Fishing rod. No. Yes. The day nights go a little bit quick in the game. I would like to see it go a little bit slower. Because you don't get much done before it gets dark out. Alright, so it is 7 a.m. Let's take a look at the market. Yep, 3,200 gold. Tomorrow's market storage. So do I see anything? I don't see anything going on here. Maybe it takes a while. I don't know. Maybe it's not implemented. I mean, this is only a demo. All right. Well, we're going to end it here. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I really am. I like this. I, uh, I'm hoping I get a quest to, like, leave town. That would be great. I might have to talk to more people, maybe. Apparently, have nothing for me either. Okay, well, we're gonna end it here. Just like thank you all for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here and like to see more content like this, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.